Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today, I'm going to share with you four very easy and tasty recipes that you can make in your waffle iron, so stay tuned. Now there are so many different foods that you can actually cook in a waffle iron other than waffles. So today I'm going to share with you a breakfast idea, two ideas that would work for either lunch or dinner, and then a dessert. I hope you like this video. I hope that you'll give it a big thumbs up and that you will subscribe if you're not already. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm kicking things off with my breakfast option. Today I'm making these churro french toast sticks. Now I call them churro french toast sticks because I'm going to be using some cinnamon and sugar. They are super delicious. I'm going to start by cracking three eggs into a dish. To this I'm going to add about a half a cup of milk, just a tiny bit of sugar, not too much because it is going on the outside as well, and then I'm going to whisk it up. Now if you want to get fancy you can also add some vanilla flavoring, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of cinnamon and then I just whisk this up again. Next, I'm going to prepare my cinnamon sugar mixture so it's ready to go. I'm going to add about two parts of sugar to one part cinnamon and then just mix it up. Now one very important detail when you're using your waffle iron to cook other foods is to spray it really well with nonstick spray. This waffle iron I'm using today is actually my husband's grandmother's and it is older than I am, but it still works really well. So I'm going to start by dipping my bread very quickly into the egg mixture. I don't want my bread to get too soggy. And then I'm just going to cook it until it's done. Next I'm going to remove it and very quickly dip it in my cinnamon sugar mixture, making it like a churro. Then I'm going to cut it into sticks. This is definitely one of my kids' favorite treats. I'm also gonna serve this with some fresh strawberries and a little bit of maple syrup to dip in. Now before I give this a try, I definitely wanna to remember to take a picture for my thumbnail. With the cinnamon and sugar, these smell like churros for sure. And you guys, these make excellent freezer breakfasts as well. Make a big batch, stick them in the freezer, and reheat them in the toaster. Next up, I'm making my barbecue ranch chicken queso waffles. I know that sounds really funny, but this is a very easy and tasty lunch or dinner. I'm going to start by adding some of my favorite barbecue sauce to some chicken meat. Now this chicken meat is left over from our rotisserie chicken. It's the perfect way to use it up. Oh yes, and I also added a little bit of my homemade ranch and then I mixed it up. And I have a separate video on how I make my homemade ranch if you'd like to check it out. I will link it down below. Now, of course, you definitely want to remember to spray your waffle iron just so this doesn't stick. But basically, I'm going to put down one tortilla, and then I'm going to add a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese, followed by some of my chicken, and then some shredded cheddar cheese. And I also like to throw in a handful of spinach. Totally optional, you can leave it out if you'd like. I'm gonna to top this with one more tortilla and cook until it is warm through and the cheese is bubbly and delicious. Then I'm going to very carefully remove it with some tongs and a spatula and slice it up. I'd like to serve this with extra ranch for dipping and some carrots. And would you look at all that cheese? Next up are my cheesy corn dog waffles. I'm starting with one box of this Jiffy cornbread mix. I like to get all of the lumps out of there. To this I'm going to add one egg, half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of melted butter, and half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then I'm just going to mix it up. Next I'm going to take several hot dogs and I'm going to cut them in quarters. I'm going to add one bamboo skewer to each piece of hot dog. Next, I'm going to scoop a little bit of my batter onto my waffle iron. Next, I'm going to add my hot dogs. About eight are going to fit in here at one time. 
And then I'm going to cover these with more of the batter. And cook until golden brown. Once these are done, I'm going to remove them and slice them up. I like to serve this with some ketchup and mustard and some tomatoes. These are perfect for dipping and the kids love them. Last up, I'm making a dessert. These are going to be brookies, which is a combination of a brownie and a cookie. Of course, cooked in the waffle iron. I'm gonna start by preparing the brownie batter according to the directions on the box. So a little bit of water, a little bit of butter, one egg, and that is it. I'm going to stir it up. I'm gonna set that aside and prepare my cookie dough. So I'm gonna add my dry ingredients with the chocolate chips, a little bit of water, a little bit of melted butter, and that is it. I'm going to stir it up. Next, I'm going to drop a little bit of my brownie batter and a little bit of my cookie dough into the waffle iron. And then these are going to cook super fast, just a few minutes. Now I have to be honest with you, it was kind of difficult removing these from my waffle iron, but we got them out and they tasted delicious. To serve these, I like to add a little bit of vanilla ice cream, but I left my vanilla ice cream out and it got all melted. But that's okay, I'm just gonna put it on top, add a few mini chocolate chips, and we can dig in. It's definitely a lot faster than cooking brownies in the oven. Okay friends, let me know in the comments down below, out of all of these recipes today, which one was your favorite? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.